Hi everyone, I'll be showing you how you can bypass paywalls on sites in Android, so no more seeing this when accessing content. A browser extension will need to be added in order for this to work. If you're using Chrome, this will not work, so I recommend using Firefox or a variation of it. And for me, it's my primary driver. So if you don't have Firefox, I'm going to go download it. I'm going to go to the Play Store, search for it. Install, open it up, I'm going to set it as my default, not now, not now, okay, and I'm going to visit a couple of sites without the extension, first going to go to Forbes.com, click on a link, and we see right away that the paywall comes up. And not able to access any content. I'm going to go to WSJ. Click on the link. And scroll down. And we see here that I need a subscription. Now I'm going to go and get the extension. Bypass paywalls clean. Go to the following link. And this site here is a repository similar to GitHub, but this is in Russian. So what I'm going to do is download the file and do some checks on it before installing. And it's asking to translate into English. I'll translate. And so the site comes up. And so I'm running Firefox. So I'll click Firefox. And scroll down. And here are the instructions. And I'm going to click the instructions for Android. And so we see here that the add-on was removed by Mozilla from the add-on store. But with Firefox 122 Plus and Android 10 Plus, you can still install sideload this add-on by downloading the XPI file of the latest release. So I'm going to download it. Download. Close. Next, going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to virustoto.com. And I'm going to choose my file. And then choose the file. And it says here, no security vendors flag this file as malicious. And the security vendors analysis. And all of them are undetected. So that's good. And I'm going to go back. Close the tab. I'm going to go back. And when you enable the debug menu, settings about tap the Firefox logo five times, return to settings, you'll get the new menu item, install extension from file. And go to the top right, there should be three dots. And if there's no three dots, it may be that the Firefox window needs to be in full screen instead of, for example, tablet mode. So going to three dots and then going to settings and scroll down and about, about Firefox. And then click on the logo five times. Debug menu is enabled. All right, go back and install extension from file. Click on it. Go to my downloads folder. And then we're going to show all files. Bypass paywall is clean, the latest. And so it's asking for permission. And if you want to allow it in private browsing or not, just check it off. And then hit add. OK, it's been added. OK. I'm going to get out of settings. And we see the options here. And it has the BPC settings and also as well as the default sites that it will support. Scrolling back up. And you can go and check the other tabs. So for example, here it will have the options. And so custom sites opt-in, custom sites enabled. So if you want to enable custom sites and have the option to remove cookies, block general paywall scripts of unlisted sites, you can enable. And there's check update opt-in. So check for updates on startup. So it's set to yes. And there's set cookie opt-in. For some sites, a necessary cookie has to be set. So it's currently set to none. And if you're not sure, you can just leave it as the defaults. So that's fine. And so you can close these tabs. And then go back to your main tab. And then now I'm going to test it out. I'm going to go to Forbes.com. Click on the link. 
and scroll down and we see the content coming up and there's no paywall so that's good next i'm going to go to wsj click on the link and scrolling down and we don't see the paywall so it's working as expected so that's it that's how you can bypass paywalls on sites in android i hope this video was useful and i thank you for watching bye now